Hello, this is the review of the Sailor King of Pen in blue Urushi finish. First, let's get into the packaging the pen comes in. It comes in this big packaging, it comes in a big card box and thing, then you have the wooden box, you have information about the Urushi and the King of Pens, then you have a foams, then you have batting that with ink in it, ink box, and sailor stuff, just the regular stuff and two cartridges. And you have Sailor Black Ink. Yeah, it's just very elegant packaging and looks very premium. You would expect that at this price point. Then let's get into the pen itself. The pen is very sleek, it has a cigar style and it's a platinum trim in terms of the clip only. There's nothing much about this pen. There's no like logos or anything, it's just a clip. Which is pretty stiff like most Sailor clips are. And, but it's very practical. You can use this on this pen. Keep in mind, Urushi is a durable material, so you can use a clip. And when it comes to the nib section and the pen, as you can see, you have to turn a couple more just to open it up. And you have a rhodium trim, silicon pen nib. This is a medium nib. This is a 21 karat medium nib. And this looks very beautiful, it's a big nib. And the nib section alone is also very good because it flares out a little bit, so it's very comfortable to hold. And there's a rhodium ring, as you can see in the nib section, that complements the rhodium nib. The nib is a plastic fee as well, and it's just very good nib. In terms of holding it, it's very comfortable, and you can ride for long riding sessions. And it's not that heavy, actually, because of that body and there's some metal sections because it's a cartridge converter but it's not that bad and I don't post my pens but you can post it but this is a Urushi pen some people don't post because they don't want to damage Urushi and I'm in the same hemisphere so I don't post my pens regardless of even if it's just a resin pen but if you do go ahead at your own, at your own expense for general comparisons First, let's compare it to the Namiki Yukari Royale. The Sailor King of Pen is very like bowl shaped long. It's not like a fully cigar style. Then you have Poly Custom Urushi, which is a nice oversized pen, which is a little bit longer and obviously a lot more thicker than it. And this is the Mobile 49. As you can see, it has pretty much the same thickness, but it's just a lot longer. Then you have the um, so far, which is not a small pen to begin with, just for general comparisons. Then you have the Nikaya 17mm Portal Writer in the purple finish, or Shobu finish, which looks very nice. As you can see, it's pretty much the, it's, it's thicker than the King of Pen, and the King of Pen is still longer. Same with the M1005. Now let's get it to it when it's uncapped to give an idea of how it compares. As you can see, it's pretty much the same length uncapped as the 149 and 1005 and it's shorter than the custom Urushi. But in the nip sections are similar as well, it's pretty much a little bit slimmer than the 149, but it's in the same hemisphere, it's about the same as the M1005 and the uh, custom Urushi but it's very comfortable because of how it flares out just like I said so this nib section is very comfortable the nibs as you can see the nibs the nibs are very gorgeous it's a big nib in comparison to similar size nibs as you can see it's fully rhodium it's not two-tone I wish it was two-tone it would make it look a lot more nice in my opinion even though it's supposed to be a fully rhodium trim like the 149 is platinum trim but it's not a two-tone nib, which makes it very more pleasing to look at. Especially if the Sailor logo was to gold, that would look so nice. And it's a plastic feed, like I mentioned. Now, this is a cartridge converter, so it's pretty easy to ink it up. So I used carbon black in this case. And as you will see, it has some the, it has like an ink window to the cartridge converter, which doesn't really make sense to me. 
but I'll discuss that later. Now let's go into the writing sample. It's a top-down view of the writing sample. As you can see, I'm using the Toma River paper, which is very nice. It's 21 carat nib and it's a medium nib. And it's a Japanese medium, so keep that in mind. Ink is Graphon Faber Castell. I'm going to write it out. Carbon black, which is a very good black ink. And it's a very well behaved ink, so which is why I'm test which is why I'm using it on this pen for this review. And as with sailor nibs, if you're aware, there's a lot of pencil type feedback, so keep that in mind. There's not much physical feedback. People seem to think uh, the way to know is you wear headphones and then play music or something, then write with your pen. If you feel physical feedback, that means there's actually some tootiness. But with Sailor, especially the snip, it's mostly audible feedback. So it's not it's a very smooth pen. And you can actually write with a reverse. It's not that tooty to begin with. And this is a little bit softer than regular Sailor nibs. So you can get some line variation, but it's not much. But still stiff nib. Keep this in mind. Like, it is nowhere near as soft as like a Pelican 1005 or a Custom Urushi. So, it's, but it gives a little bit of softness, like an M805 would. So, it's a, in general, it's a pretty soft nib compared to other Sailor nibs, but it's in the, the realm of nibs, it is not actually that soft. That's a side view of the pen for people that enjoy that. It's a Toma River paper on this as well, which shows inks really well, and I like to test my pens on Toma River paper. As you can see, it's a very nice nib, and because it's big, it's very nice too. And because it's 21 karat gold nib, and you would think for 21 karat it's very soft, it's not, so keep that in mind. But I do enjoy the pencil type feedback of this nib occasionally. Now let's get into pros and cons of this pen. In terms of pros, the nib. Obviously the nib I already mentioned is very good. Writes right outside of, out of the box. And it's a smooth nib with pencil type feedback. And everything you expect from a sailor, you get it from this pen. And there's some softness, but it's not a lot of softness. So keep that in mind. The, another pro is the size and weight. If you like bigger pens, if you're not comfortable with Sailor 1911 large or the Pro Gear, then you might enjoy this pen because this is a lot bigger, it's a lot, has a lot more thickness to it. And this is not a heavy pen because the body is ebonite, where the, well, the barrel itself is, but the nib section is, is plastic. So it's ebonite and also the cartridge converter, so it doesn't take up that much weight. So it's still very comfortable for long writing sessions. And Mainly, the reason it's specifically really expensive is because of Urushi, so which is the biggest pro for me. The blue Urushi, it doesn't really look blue. It looks weird in video and photos. But in real life, it's like a navy dark blue. I wish it was more like a Nikaya blue. Like if you've seen Nikaya's blue, it's Kyoko is what it's called, I think. It looks very nice. I wish that was that kind of blue, but this blue is still very gorgeous. It's just that video and photo doesn't make it justice. And when it comes to the cons, it's the feedback. The feedback isn't necessarily bad, but some people don't like pencil type feedback. Some people like glassy smooth nibs, like the Pelicans and, and the Pilots. But keep in mind, you will have feedback. It is mostly audible pencil type feedback, which is enjoyable at extents. And the ink capacity, which is one of the cons that I don't like about this pen. Because it is a big pen, as you can see, it's a very long pen. So you can put a bigger converter in this. And since sailor converters are, for the most part, a very, are very small, so they don't hold that much ink. So I wish they put a bigger converter in this, which would make life a lot more easier. And I don't know why they didn't do that, since this pen's pretty big enough. And there's so much space left in the body, so I, would, so I wish they did that. And my problem, another problem is the ink window on the converter. Not the converter, but the bias attached to the bias itself, like the nib section itself. It makes no sense. As you can see in comparison, 
to me instead of Nathan Levin large and this they could just remove that it would have been less weight and it would have actually been cleaning a lot easier because the problem is I use a syringe to clean my pens that are cartridge converter but it's hard to get in there because of that ink window that ink window whatever that thing is called just inconvenience because to look at the ink level you still have to unscrew the barrel and then when you unscrew the barrel just like how you would do a regular cartridge converter, you could still see how much ink left. So I don't see the point of this. It's just dumb as hell. So I wish they just removed it and just gave us a bigger converter so we could hold more ink. Especially for a pen like this. It's a big, big nib and it's pretty wet for a nib. So it takes a lot more ink. So I wish they gave us a bigger converter. Next and one of the biggest cons is the price. It retails for $1,900. That's not what I paid for, but it's very expensive for many reasons. One, the Urushi. Anything that's Urushi, that's going to be very expensive. Two, the nib is 21 karat gold nib. Three, the major reason why it's expensive is because of the brand. You're paying most like 40 to 50% for a sailor brand. Usually it should not be this expensive for this kind of pen, especially since it's a cartridge converter that holds very little ink. Like say with custom Urushi, it's about 1300 But the thing is you can hold a Con 70, which a lot more ink and cleaning it is very easy compared to this so i just don't understand why they did what they did with the converter just very inconvenient skips just shows they didn't really care about the model they just use it for a cash cow i feel like and i wish they put a bigger converter on this other than that I still enjoy the pen i like the writing with the nib the nib is enjoyable to write with but i wish there's they fix most of the cons that i mentioned that would make the pen very very well and a lot of people would like this pen thank you for watching have a great day